most of you know what I do, 137 Digital, uh, we're a small design agency, uh, but we have a particular bias towards the digital side of things, mainly because that's how we started, on the, specifically on the web side of things, but that's grown over time to include other things. So rather than talk too technical, I thought perhaps today I'd just show you some examples of some of our work and just give you an idea of the different things that um, we can do, particularly for, for the website side of things. So lots of our clients just want what we call a simple brochure website. And that is effectively just an online presence that gives a bit of information about the company. So I was just going to click through and quickly show you a few examples. This is for a, uh, a one-man band accountant, which would be probably quite different to something, say, like uh, Clive and Danny's company, where um, they're a bigger chartered practice. Uh, this is a small investment firm. They just wanted, again, a, a basic website presence. So it's pretty much a brochure site. But then the only uh, sort of extra feature they've got on there, really, is they've got a management team section and some case studies. But what I wanted to do is just flick through quickly and get you allow you to see um, a few different designs so you get the idea of just the scope that's available. Uh, so from finance we go to technology. This is a firm in Malden. Um, on this particular project we actually worked um, with another uh, firm, so we didn't design this one, we just built this one. And we actually do quite a bit of work with other agencies where we'll just do the development as well as having our own clients where we do the design and development. Uh, from technology, we go to ecology, and this is uh, currently just a temporary site for somebody who's launching um, a very, um, very big project. Uh, it's going to be advertised in the Sunday Times, probably this Sunday. I'm actually a bit nervous about it because Eric Schmidt, the CEO of Google, will be looking at this site at some point, so I'm a bit worried about that. <laughs> um, this is for a recruitment agency, again, another brochure site, uh, nothing really um, special about the site other than showing who they are, what they do, a little bit of testimonials, but really for the level of business that they are at, they didn't even have, a, well, they had a holding page, so it was really important for them to have something to project this kind of global image when actually it's, it's a relatively small but very successful firm. From there we go on to the uh, more uh, tourist side of the market, and as I've often mentioned we work with lots of hotels. This is not a hotel but it's a firm in the Alps that uh, runs, as you may be able to see, self-catered chalets and apartments. So they um, came to us because they really needed to be able to better manage uh, the availability of those. So we built them a new system at the back end where they can log in and say whether something's booked, adjust the price, etc. Kitchen fit out company, can't see it here, but this is one of the, this one used guys is one of the design trends that's very much on trend at the moment, which are these one page scrolling websites. So there's lots of information just on the single page, hence the big arrow there. Uh, this is for a building firm in uh, North London. Again, this was a brochure site with a few extra things. In particular, they wanted to be able to showcase some of their press coverage because they've been featured quite a lot. They're also on Radio 5, so we recorded the Radio 5 interview and put that on the website, and the various other press co coverage that they've had. And they wanted to be able to showcase case studies, because they've got a few specialist areas. So one of their special area, specialist areas is um, uh, Victorian tiling. So there's a few things like that where they wanted to showcase that and do case studies. Uh, just a bit of information about the owner there, and then a gallery here to demonstrate their actual work. Right, sometimes we uh, get asked to do um, more than just the website because people think they want a website and they realise they haven't got a logo or anything. So the other strand of our business is the branding side and we do try to do full branding project, projects rather than just the odd logo, although well, that's obviously within our capability. This was a halfway house. Uh, this company was an electrical firm, but they wanted to be able to showcase that they also did some other things, including the popular sort of solar energy in the last few years. So we uh, came up with a, a, a logo uh, for them and an icon set that they could use throughout their marketing material as well as on the website. Just an example of uh, business cards and various other material that went alongside that. And then the website um, to showcase their work. Again, uh, a, brochure, a brochure site, 
but has full um, content management system at the back so that they're able to log in, edit it and change things. Back to the tourist market, this is uh, one of our, our clients, um, uh, well-placed apartments. They have rental apartments in various uh, places, uh, Greece, Cyprus, Turkey, changes each year. Uh, we, we, they're already a client of ours, but we completely overhauled their site to give them a new uh, back-end system where they could really manage uh, what the apartments had. Because the apartments